wondering, fearing, doubting. Good morning, afternoon, and evening, everyone. This is Hippie Testa, and welcome to episode 2 of Eternal Darkness, and it is Rock Requiem. We're doing the Chaturga run that we started three weeks ago today. How's everyone doing? Hello, hello. Good to see you, Mayo, Sister, Gamut. Who else is there? Hi, everyone. So, something first for the channel. We actually have... I gotta update the, the, the about page now. We actually have... <laughs> Hi, Chaos. Good to see you, buddy. Welcome, welcome. Chaos never seen Eternal Darkness. We're gonna need a lot of pistolo. Uh, we're for the first time we're doing actual GameCube stream. Well, actual GameCube stream from the GameCube. We have the component cables now. My sisters got together for my birthday, which was two months ago. <laughs> got me a uh, GameCube component cable, and it just arrived today. So, out of the blue, no schedule. Fuck everything. I just had to come here and continue this. It was a good excuse. How are you doing, Chaos? chaotic Sash all right so for those of you who haven't played or heard about this game ever it's uh, exclusive for GameCube survival horror game developed by Silicon Knights the same people who did the first uh, Blood Omen game and started that uh, Legacy of Kane series and uh, we did one run, so you have to complete the game three times for the full ending, for the true ending. We did one run in October. I really hope to do all three runs in October, but life is life. And uh, we started the second run. We will complete them all, of course, multiple times. Now with the cables and everything. Good to hear, good to hear, man. <laughs> Where do you apply that? Herbal remedies. <laughs> but yeah, let's get into it. Here we go. Memory card slot B, that's me. Yeah. So you play the game with multiple characters across the span of 2000 years, and the main character, Alexandra Roivas, is investigating her grandfather's death in the year 2000 as she reads from the Tome of Eternal Darkness, where the previous people who have met the darkness <laughs> wrote their um, experiences. Uh, you actually play with those people. So you really affect you you are in the story that is being told you you control all of those people what was the last thing we did oh yeah i said i remembered actually first thing we're gonna do we're gonna read the 
I don't, don't think we did that. The 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 autopsies we got f with uh, what's his face, the ancestor Max, the only one who can do uh, autopsies. So th what did we get? We got Chaturga stuff, Chaturga zombies. These wretched creatures. Well, that plays. Flayed corpses. Yeah, she is. <laughs> Narco <laughs> yeah, narcotic nomic narconomicon. <laughs> Even headless, their hate for the living grew in propensity, flailing maniacally in their bloodlust, <laughs> killing anything close. Oh, that was a short one. I think it depends on your sanity. If your sanity is low, he starts to mumble incoherently. We heard that last time. So the autopsy entries actually combine from all the playthroughs. So we have all the Zelotat stuff from the last playthrough. Chatur the Bone Thief. They... Ah, amongst us. I knew they would come after me. Oh, I knew their devices, their depraved methods, creatures wearing human skins as we wear clothes to cover their hideousness from our eyes so they might consort insidiously with our species, infiltrating, manipulating, playing us against each other. Damn our eyes! We are blind to them, but I knew. Oh, yes, I knew. I knew they were there, plotting behind that door. One has to... <laughs> oh man, this is... One must separate their heads from their bodies. And so this explains why he did what he did. We did key. saw that in the first Earth playthrough. Their souls from this earth, sending them whimpering to their masters in the beyond! Alright, he is pretty active. So Maximilian is the only character. He's uh, Alex's ancestor from the uh, 17th century. Uh, the first notable character to have lived in their family mansion and he is the first in their family i think who came um came across him and uh the darkness and he like if you do this with him you don't have to do it you actually get you can you can totally skip this the horror a behemoth of hatred incarnate what manner of creature is that a ton of flesh the next. and sinew Wielding muscles thick as ropes strung onto claws that could crush stone and sever metal as though it were threshed wheat. Ugh. Crushing, cutting, the walls shook. Yeah, the Chaturga monsters are all oh, no. about the physical Horror. strength. An abomination. Its physiology remarkably abstract. No real organs or anything. It shouldn't work. But it did. The mouths, those gnashing scythes of teeth. I tell you, it existed only to eat, to consume, to gnaw, to bite, to devour. So yeah, Max actually ends up in the asylum after his chapter because, well, no one believed him. All right, sis. What do you mean, Gamut? Never played the game or... Yeah, it is Lovecraft. You never played the game or never seen the creature. Chaturga Guardian. The darkness, chittering spider-like parasites infesting the city, Enga. Enga. They killed the city's inhabitants, using them for food, for slaves, for play. In the city's last dark. It's really, really good. I put it up right, like it's right there, up there with Silent Hill 2 for me. Now nothing but bloody goblets of meat in the gutters. So it has been for eons. The guardians, those eternal parasites, still swarm in that necropolis, feeding on those, those that live in ignorance. Many miles above us. Damn you, listen to me. They feed on us. The darkness, the darkness comes. It will consume yeah. us Yeah, place is very we similar to Outbreak. It's like Silent Hill and Resident them. Evil had a baby. Oh. Wow, pretty good, pretty good. I think, like, so the interesting thing about Maximilian, 
he was voiced apparently by two people. Um, one of them was um, Raziel's voice actor from the Legacy of Kane games, uh, uh, Michael Bell. And the other one, I forgot his name. I think it's, it's not as familiar name to me at least. Where is it? We want to see the last... What was the last thing we did? We finished chapter... Oh, we started... We finished chapter 6, I guess? Daughter of Light. Okay, so the symbols for different alignments. We finished everything with green. With Zelta, now we're doing Chaturga. The cutscenes change with the playthroughs. Okay, chapter 7 is next. Alright. Let's do that. Okay, so what was the last thing? What was chapter 7? It was Lindsay. It was the... Uh, yeah, I think it was... Indiana Jones. Damn, it's been a month almost. Hold on. Yeah, chapter 6. Corrosion of the Dead God, Journey into Darkness. Daughter of Light. Yep. I think that's it. Yeah, it was him. Okay. Skip, skip, skip. So next one. Aha. Aha. So what did we get? I think we got new spells from there, right? Uh, spell list, yes, we can summon a trapper, we can dispel magic, I think that's what I need. Okay. Yeah, it's been a while, it's been a while, Sash, like before everything started, was the last time I played this, like 20-something October, so... The sanity effects are the like one of the strongest memories of this game I have playing it <laughs> for my first time so your characters have uh, health mana but also the green thing is sanity every time they see a monster or something like that's abnormal they lose sanity and a very low sanity game starts playing with the player so we're doing these three runs with the lowest possible sanity now for now Alex's sanity can go down she doesn't yet face monsters but as she reads from the chapters of the tome she slowly loses sanity so that's how much we lost so far if you do not cure her sanity until the end of the game you can see some very rare uh, sanity effects one of them if you leave the game for a while you just get kind of a screensaver with pious augustus's face but it counts as a sanity effect as soon as you move something on the controller she starts screaming this isn't happening so that's i didn't know that until this year i actually read it on somewhere like wikipedia probably or something like that. I was like, oh, sh wait, I didn't know about that one. So I left it the first time, nothing happened. And then today, when I was preparing for the stream, I left it like this. But because her sanity is low this time, it actually happened. So what are we doing now? She got a note from him to check the... No, was it here? I think she got a note somewhere to check for the 88 keys. Oh, she's tripping balls, right? Or is she? Maybe I move? There shouldn't be any zombies. Yep, I think she's tripping. Let's see if they disappear. Okay. Shit, 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 shit. I guess they're real. Someone's at the door. Okay. Where is it? Oh, there it is. That's what we need. The piano. Because the last note was something, something. Look at the 68 keys or something. I don't even know where it is. I guess it's lost. But yeah, I swear it was it. The darkness is coming. Is it now? A grand piano stands here, awaiting the hands of a decent musician. Unfortunately, Edward never really lived. Up to the description, and as such, the piano fell into disuse. I guess not. I think I need to find something that leads me here. Let's try upstairs. Aha! Okay, the statue is still looking at me. Stop that. Is it here? Was it maybe... Yeah, the spell magic. So, what is strong against red? Red and blue. Blue. So, Ulia. The spell... Three-point Ulia. There we go. Yeah, that's what I need. 
As the magical window fades away, the piece of parchment that the maiden was holding is left behind, floating in midair. It appears to be a chapter page. Should Alex retrieve the chapter page? Uh, yes? Oh, it's right there, okay. Not the piano yes, I, yet, I guess. Alex has found the chapter page entitled Paris. Yep, here we go. Now this is definitely Michael Bell. Well, not this, but in this chapter we're about to play. So this one is set during World War I. <laughs> I gotta love Chaturga's voice. <laughs> Oh man, looks much better than playing on the Wii. There is a difference between the connection. There we go, the Chaturga, the Chaturga Guardian. Here we go. So they're all different in each playthrough. I am not your food today. I am your master. Your task is to guard the artifact before you. Let no one touch it. Oh god, he's ugly. Like, Chaturga monsters really go into Chloe insect -y. All right, let's read that chapter. I guess I didn't have to go to the piano yet. Mm. Let's go. I don't think... Yeah, there's nothing else left to find. In Europe, during the time of... Oh, no, I'm sorry. Wrong chapter, yeah. Paranoia Same location, wrong chapter. This isn't World War One. This is Inquisition. With the fear of devilry running rampant... The ancient's corruption extended far beyond mortal knowledge, corrupting all that could be... The corrupted. one that's modeled after the name of the rose. My researches uncovered an interesting incident. A Franciscan monk named Paul Luther was traveling through the region of Amiens during the witch hunts of the Inquisition. Now, under martial law, the Inquisition prevented anyone from leaving the town and its nearby cathedral. For everyone was suspect. Can I freeze? Thank you. Welcome to Ublier Cathedral, Brother Luther. Hello, obviously not evil guy. I'm glad that our sacred order can bestow hospitality. You look so alive. <laughs> I shall not impose, Excellency. I merely request lodging and a viewing of the sacred relic. The hand of Jude. Many have traveled far and even risked their lives for a glimpse of the hallowed relic's true splendor. Of course, it would be wise to keep quiet during your stay. The Inquisition is here for a reason, brother. We seek to purge the deviancy from this town. I am sure that will not be a problem. Amiens appears to be a peaceful hamlet. It appears to be. But deviancy is secreted in the most deceptive places, which I believe is the case with Amiens. Then I wish you luck in your search. The Inquisition <laughs> does not need luck, Brother Luther. <laughs> Faith and purity are our God. Imagine. Like he, he looks like he needs it. Look at him, all hunched over. I guess 2,000 years. Well, 1,500 years of being the devil's servant. <laughs> does that to a man so this one's locked well the, if i remember correctly there's nothing up there right now so let's just go where we need to go his stamina so paul is a is one of the characters i like don't really like <laughs> to play much he's at the probably at the bottom near the bottom of my uh, eternal darkness characters because his so he's got a lot of mana and his sanity is eh, but his health and stamina oh god look at that like one major hit and his health is out so you really got to be careful with him he also has the meditation rod as the personal item which is the priest's meditation rod blah, 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 restores sanity okay yeah we really need to do that we really need to do that because we're doing the low sanity run okay look at this i'm gonna check this cathedral here just walking uh inconspicuously look there's nothing here to see here i'm just gonna keep going and uh oh my what is this For the love of God, God, help! Come he died me. quite astonished. 
<laughs> look at him. I don't know what's wrong. This like this cutscene, that angle, it looks. A murder, a murder most foul. What heresy is this? I, I found him lying here. Well, Dead. lying is an I overstatement. The guards. Ah, is this our first suspect? Make sure no one touches the body. It must be examined for signs of devilry. As for this man. <laughs> Make sure he doesn't leave the cathedral. What did they? We will question okay, the leg. Prison. Okay. But hold your tongue, Franciscan, or it might bring my wrath upon thee. Who is to say that you did not commit this murder? Well, well I just you said trust that. in the Almighty, and you are indeed innocent. Then you will have nothing to fear. Well, apparently they locked me in. Can I go out? The door is locked. Luther is being held under arrest, waiting for judgment and trial at the hands of the Inquisition. Well, that's not good news, Luther. Detail. A somber portrait of a monk stares icily from the wall. Something about those grim staring eyes sparks doubt and suspicious in Paul. Is this the face of a holy man? You know what? We'll be back here later with the fucking torch, because it's everything's invisible. Let's take this. The painting captures Paul's attention. A small emerald disguised as part of the painting glints in the candlelight, as though it has gone it has some value beyond being a precious gem. Retrieve it, yes, thank you. Very nice. Are you here to pass sentence on me? No. I'm here to free you. You are in incredible danger. This cathedral used to be a place of peace. Now many strange things happen here. I don't want you to end up like the others. What do you mean? The to die astonished. <laughs> was Brother Andrew, and he was killed to protect a secret. A secret? Talk sure. about it here. Find me in the bell tower later, and I shall aid thee further. Why are you releasing me? I don't want to see another innocent die like your Franciscan brethren. I have seen Brother Andrew make numerous entries into his journal. This may contain the answers to the cathedral's dark secrets. What can I do? If what I should I do? <laughs> I'd run. They will surely hunt He is a hairy type. This has to stop. Then be it on your own head, Luke. But he's actually brave, Find I guess. Brother Andrew's journals, if you can. He spent time in the old tower investigating. I believe I can find the key to the old tower in one of my stores. Later, come find me in the bell tower, and I will give it to you. Be swift. We can't evade them forever. All right. <laughs> Hello, Pushy. Hi, Delmar, my friend. Good to see you. How are you doing? The, the darkness comes, you say. We got to find a torch. Oh, shit. We're in the hall of the eternal darkness. I mean, the, the hall of the tomb of the eternal darkness. Who was the last character? Kareem, we saw. So these are all the people who died for the tomb. Wait, who was the last one? Oh, he was alive. Yeah, he actually lived. What about... Yeah. Okay, Max. Yes, that's all of them. Ah! All those people with their stubbed toes. Cradle in what appears to be a leathery hand lies a mysterious book. It's bound in human skin and in intricately decorated with shrunken bones. It beckons and yearns to be possessed. Should Paul claim the tome of eternal darkness? Paul has required the tome of eternal darkness. Everything sounds sexier. <laughs> <laughs> With Sean Connery's voice. Alright, let's shave our game before it's too late. Shave B. 1485. Charge. You know, I can't really imagine Sean Connery shouting. Go, 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 go. You can do it. Keep running. Hey. We need a torch. Alright. 
The game now makes more sense. We must find something here. A heavy wooden chest sits against the room's wall. It appears to be all the worn. Should Paul open the chest? A crossbow lies within the open chest. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, friend. Please. Please type it again. That's the best solution I can tell you. <laughs> yes, please. Paul has acquired a crossbow. A woodcut depicting the effects of a plague. The spirit of death in carnage casts final judgment over a wealth of victims. The rack carries robes and cloaks for ceremonial use. As Paul draws their robes back, something tumbles from inside. Paul has found the podium key. Quite so. <laughs> <laughs> it is true, I am a fraud. <laughs> a darkness fraud. The woodcut shows an act of blasphemy. A host of demons preys upon humans like they were playthings, disemboweled by mocking demons, eaten or tortured by other carnal deviant acts. So, I guess that's it here, in this room. As long as there's no monsters, I'll keep searching. Let's open the podium. Not that one. That's the wrong podium. The altar is bereft of holy adornment. No crucifix, no Bible, no sacrament of any kind. Paul is disturbed by this sight. What fate does the order practice? Hello, podium. A simple podium and lectern provides a platform for a priest giving a sermon to his congregation. There is a drawer recessed inside. Oh god, this is gonna hurt my... This is gonna hurt my mouth, I guess. <laughs> a diary page lies inside the open drawer. Should Paul take it? Paul has found a diary page. The Diary of Brother Andrew, page one. Okay, yeah, we read this last time, so I'm not gonna do it again. La 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 la. Everyone's good, but wait for part two. Things get darker. Crossbow bolts. This one is opened by the puzzle, right? Yeah. Man, it looks so good. The game. Even in widescreen at interlaced resolutions. This is just fucking amazing. I gotta say, it made me kind of sad that for like on the Wii doesn't play the GameCube startup animation. You know, it kind of made, it kind of uh, does it uh, in the menu, but not the full, you know, boot up animation. And uh, uh, now we see what we're supposed to see. But now, like all the GameCube games, will actually start as a GameCube games. A frame fragment or written verse. Yeah, well, we, we've seen all of this. There's nothing actually to pick up. It's pretty good. Can you see that? It's fucking amazing. Oh, I skipped. Like, I skipped all the files last time because we, like, just beat the game two days prior, so I just didn't read anything. Well, anything that was identical, only things that change, you know, in different playthroughs. And of course, cutscenes. You can't skip the cutscenes. At least not the first time they play, I think. There's nothing else to pick up here. That's right. Can I even go there? Because I guess that would be the next place, unless I'm going up to the bell tower. The door to the old tower is locked. Ah, yeah, okay, we gotta go see the custodian. Right. So good. Okay, he's tired. Oh. Can I go? Wait, can I go to the basement? I should be able to do that, I think. You rested, buddy? Charge! Let's check the rooms. Oh. 
Book of Reliquaries. That's like the second letter, I think. Yada 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 yada. I go, the, this is the evidence I'm collecting. Oh god. That's a demon child. Oh, we got a raid from Sexy Wesky. Hello, Wesky, it's been a while. How's everyone? Hi, Simon. Hello, hello. What have you been playing? Well, wait, I have mods for that now. Mods? Well, no, actually, I'm gonna... Yeah, I remember now. I'm changing my mind every few seconds. Uh, it's been a while, man. I haven't streamed in a month. How does it go? Uh, yes, that, and then... Yeah. Yes. Hasha! Oh, you played the OG RE3? How was that? Hello? Yeah, it's been a while. I haven't streamed in almost a month. Good to see you, Wesky. How was RE3? Were you doing a crazy knife run or something like that? Ah. Uh. Knife play, of course. How did that treat you? Hard mode or easy mode? <laughs> I can imagine. Let's get the, the mace. That's gonna be our main weapon. The bellows, still not necessary. Hard mode, of course. Wow. Do you kill them? Do you kill the nemesis? Or do you just leave him be? <laughs> Forgive him. Oh shit, there are trappers here. Ah! Okay. I, sh I could have shot him with the crossbow or anything. That's okay, I've been to hell before. I can come out. What do I need? I don't need to fill anything. Just run. Oh, it's a Mantarog zombie. I can handle that. Yeah, I need some sanity lost, so thank you. You killed him with a knife. Wow. Alright, he's also dead. Thanks for the sanity loss. Oh no, uh, it's just because says with the... Because his uh, username is in Korean script, you gotta do it a little differently. That's why I did it. So, you know. Hi, Obani. Good to see you. Welcome to the stream. Well, welcome everyone. Thanks for dropping by and thanks for the raid, Wesky, again. I, this is totally like this stream wasn't even planned. I just got the the GameCube component cables today and uh, and I had to do something immediately. I wasn't planning to do anything until next week, actually, but it's going great. Yeah, it's going amazing. I love this game. It looks even better now and I can stream from the GameCube, not from the Wii, like straight to Twitch. It's... It's a whole new world opened up. We can stream like the Game Boy, Game Boy Call, Game Boy Advance games. We got the Game Boy Player. It's just... Oh, really, Obani? It's one... So it's a... Um, yeah, it's a GameCube exclusive horror game. Uh, made in 2001, I think, or two. Uh, by Silicon Knights. The same team that did the First Blood Omen, Legacy of Kane, And uh, Metal Gear Twin Snakes. So even some of the cast from Metal Gear is here. Like... Uh, <laughs> David Hayter plays a, a very throwaway role. I think it was a meme. <laughs> Someone was playing fun. And Colonel uh, Campbell, what was his the name? I forgot the, the voice actor's name. That's at the top, that's at the top of my thought. Uh, anyway, he plays quite a few characters. So yeah, <laughs> it is the Q. Uh, but yeah, it's a, this horror game, I keep saying that. For me, it's right up there with Silent Hill 2. Okay, I hear a trapper. I don't want to go to hell again, so... Die, beast! I'll reload. Any more of them? No, I guess. Okay, torch time. We're looking for one of them's loose. Oh, this one? Aha! Okay. There you go. Can 
Okay, what awaits me? Oh, fucking horror, okay. Uh, I'll be right back. I forgot I have spells. Be right back. Thank you for the sanity drain. So we're gonna... We're trying to make the game behave all wonky and I need to lower the sanity for that. But he was blue, right? Was he blue? Oh, I gotta go back and check. Were you blue, sir? Yeah. Oh, wait. He's green. Red, green. So I need Chaturga. Okay, I need the Chaturga enchantment to make my weapon stronger. Yes. Alright, and I need to shield myself. Just the health, I'm not gonna shield the sanity, so also Chaturga. No, wait. Can I even shield myself? Damage field, summon trapper, reveal invisible. Yeah, not yet. Okay, never mind. Then just charge! Whack him in the head. Ow. Fuck you, buddy. Okay, I'm tripping balls. You dead? Okay, one more head left. Come on. There we go. Woo! It's easier when you enchant them. A Sapphire. Okay, we're not gonna finish him. Because we need the... Uh, we need uh, the to keep the sanity low. Okay, that's where we're gonna put the gems, but later. Okay, let's go to the custodian. Better, I know my, my mace is illuminated, but the torch is still better. Oh, is the room bleeding? Did you see that? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's bleeding. He's looking around, so he probably sees some weird shit that we can't see. Why are you looking to the side? Oh my god, it's creeping me out. <laughs> Keep thinking something's gonna be there. Here we go. Ah, because I keep expecting it to be during World War One. I'm looking for the barrels. It's not the same quest, even. Is there a sanity effect I'm not aware of? He reacted as if there was a sanity effect. Ooh. Very good. Mantarog zombies, they're really easy to put down. Just whack it with the torch, they're done. Unlike some other zombies in the game. I'm gonna ring. Curiously, the rope's not moving anymore. <laughs> I'm here. Ah, oh, Brother Luther, not a moment too soon. As you have noticed, dread things inhabit this place. Yeah, they tried to eat my head. Corpses, and worse, there is darkness at work here. In the midst of the Inquisition. I suspect it is worse than that. But I have no proof. Brother Andrew knew this also. And paid the price for it. Why are you telling me this? Perhaps you can finish off what Andrew started. Take this... Well, thanks for putting me there. locks the old tower. It has been sealed off since the Inquisition arrived. I intend to uncover the truth behind this. If you manage to uncover the source of darkness, the source of return darkness? here, and I will do everything I can to help. Till then, brother, may your faith protect you. Uh, you got something like a shield or something that can actually protect me? 
All right, I guess that's it. It's fuck you, Paul. Okay, let's uncover corruption in the church, like in the meanest possible way. So we're going to the old tower. It's the same. Uh, it's the same location. Anthony was. Huh? Aha! Aha! Help me, Grandpa. That's nice time. I can't take this anymore. Don't be so weak, Alex. You have a strong mind. This is why we don't cure her sanity. I didn't bring up her weekly. Because she's going crazy the while reading the book. Wretch. You kept all this from me. You kept me alone. You shared nothing with me. I couldn't. I could never give you the burden. I just wanted you to grow up. To grow up and leave me alone. That's totally your grandpa. Yeah, he used to say things like that all the time. <laughs> I got new respect for you, Paul, for that scream. So, so here's another character that's hallucinating about Alex in the year 2000. While he's in the year 1485, was it? That's pretty cool. And it's missable. You gotta keep her sanity low for it, for it to happen. At least that's what my experiments so far point at. Wow, he sounds like he's been castrated. Alright, since we're going inside, uh, let me remember my magic shortcuts. What did I what did I set? Spell quick spells. Enchant item blue. Dispel magic. Recover, recover. Okay, I could make myself invisible though. That would help. You know what? That would help. Just to check what's inside. Can I do that? Reveal invisible with Mantarok. Yes! Ah, now you see me, now you don't. Oh, shit, yeah, I have the key. Hold on. I had it right here with me. Key to the old tower. Okay, that's how the bone thieves work. They literally dig into the human they want to possess. So it's right there, but it can't see me. Which is good for me. So I can prepare for him. I'm gonna use some spells. Oh, I'm losing sanity while I'm invisible. Cool. Am I? Am I tripping balls? No, I shouldn't be. That's the other spell. That's controlling spells. So, he was red, right? Red, green, blue. Yeah, blue. Enchant the mace. That'll help. Don't mind me just enchanting my weapon behind your back. Fuck you, buddy! Oh, he's not even gonna see me, is he? Oh, fuck you. Huh? I want you to take my sanity away. Come on. You can do it. Come on. <laughs> okay, that's not the effect I wanted to do. Like, I forgot it doesn't take your sanity if they can't see you. Alright, we got another... We got the shield spell. Protect self, okay? So let's do that right away, actually. With Chaturga, no less. Just protect health. Let me know when I become visible, because that'll help. Yeah, it's the same coffin that was there like 500 years ago, but sure. No letter. He's gonna explore while he can't see. Oh, there we go. Now that's a bone thief. Sanity at the minimum. Yeah, I killed that one guy. Wow, what happened? Why is he screaming? I didn't see anything happen. Okay, is there anything else to pick up here? No? So this is the room 
where all Anthony died back during Charlemagne. So we're go gonna go there now. There he is. He zombifies as you play with him during his chapter. So we can see his destiny here. And if we got the big sword with him, we're gonna be able to use it um, with Paul right now. All right. Take that one right off. Just in the head. I'm just gonna keep whacking him in the head until he falls down. You dead? Oh, he's gonna get up, I think, one more time. Don't let him hit you. Alright. Poor Anthony. Because it was a flashback of his life. Or like, at least, of his life during his chapter. The ruby and because we picked it up with Anthony we get the two-edged sword. We can finish him as well, huh? Nah. Goodbye Anthony. He's one of my favorite characters. Because you actually, as you play with him he zombifies, I love that. Slowly becomes a zombie throughout the duration of his chapter. And we got a good weapon now with Paul. These are all torches, there's nothing else here, nope. Let's get out. <laughs> yeah, I might be, I could be wrong. It could be like a little unrealistic. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll name the next one that. That, then. Uh, yeah, I want to make it, he's red. Red, green, blue. So, whop. Cha! Who is it? I, I mean, charge! All right, now get him. Don't let him take your bones. He's a bone thief. Oh, no, that was pretty cool. No, I'm not gonna finish you. You're gonna die a horrible death. Okay, I'm tripping balls fully now. It's time. Is that another letter? A diary page, there you go. Who brought it here and why? We'll never know. There's nothing else here. Oh yeah, the, the last one is gonna be at the bottom, that's right. And oh whoa 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 whoa. That's what we need, a sheet of music. Anything else here? Because you can't really, I like that. You can't examine things while you're running. You gotta walk or stand still because it kinda makes sense. You can't be running fast and being like, oh what's in that drawer? Then I'm just gonna check as I run A little dramatic there. Okay, start tripping balls, man. I got your sanity as low as I can without killing you. No, don't examine, use. Thank you. I mean, equip. So, we're sure there's nothing here. Kind of remember, maybe in another chapter. The whole, like, it, it's all crooked now. Look at that. Am I getting smaller? I'm not getting smaller, okay. Play the organ, so... It, it does look amazing, right? Bream. So that's also optional. You can totally skip this. You don't have to do it. You can go go get to the final boss as unprepared as I don't know. I mean it's pious, two thousand years of experience and magic alignment and then you get there all naked and whatnot.
All right. So we got to make new spells now. It's a little tedious. You got to do it every day, every time, but that's okay. Let's go spell by spell. Enchant item. No, not cast. Check. Enter book and mug or more. Let's do that. New spell. Five. Let's do Uliet. He's got the best voice. And then you just put Pargon. Oh, we don't have the Pargon rune. That's right. We can't cast these spells yet. No Pargon. We got to find the Pargon. Really? Yeah, it makes sense. I didn't find Pargon yet. Okay, rest. Look at him. He's all old and worn. Are you done? Charge! Oh, nice. Where am I? <gasps> what is this? This is a new one. I'm in Twilight Realm. <gasps> oh, God. I've never seen this one. I'm in the future. This is this is during the during the World War One chapter. That's like later in the game. Oh wow! So last playthrough, I was a little down that we didn't get many uh, sanity effects with uh, Lindsay and Paul, and I think a, a couple other characters but i think it's because i didn't leave their sanity as low as i should have look there's no music or anything it just goes Aww. all right we put the gems here ruby sapphire and emerald I think this is where you two uh, started doing the ha <laughs> in the last playthrough because you get a lot of them in this one and it all looks kind of holy. Let's save just in case. Fuck you buddy. No more sanity. Living on the edge. Oh. Oh shit, okay, they're draining my health now. I gotta fix this. I gotta put some sanity there and health as well. So was it? Zoop. And also... Well, maybe a little too much. I hope something drains more. And then... Let's not forget... First, let's, let's enchant everything. Fuck it, I wanna bump these weapons up. So... One, two, three, yeah, start with the strongest one. Blue versus red, yeah. Then... I guess this. And I can reload it. There you go, yep, that started in this chapter, I think. Alright. And finally, let's do the... Mix, yeah. <laughs> the choir is really amazing. Okay, let's start. Let's try with the strongest sword. Save. Fuck you! Oh, Jesus, that's a big zombie. Cut their heads off first so they can't see you. It actually works. And then kill them, like, regularly. Yeah, Chaturga zombies regrow limbs, which is... Which makes it very... Oh, okay, they're not real. I guess they're just my hallucination. Yeah, I was like, since when do we have zombies here? But there you go. Look at the size of that one. That's not real. Let's get their arms now. Get his arm. Or just the whole torso. That works too. Don't finish them. I need your rune, sir. Well, he's real. He's got a rune. Give me your arm. Yeah, there you go. Get his head. Their heads regrow, so get the head, then get the arms. I sit down, boy. Better rest. Whew! <laughs> there you go. Hmm. 
<laughs> well, they kind of, yeah, they are Chaturga zombies specifically because they regrow their limbs. There you go. Because each, there are three guardians, four of them, but three that, that are important to the, like, that can be your antagonists. Chaturga is all about the body and his monsters actually do look like nec necromorphs. You're not far off. There's a statue. Because the sanity is low, it's looking at us. Otherwise, it wouldn't be. Alright, so which rune we got? I think we got the Pargan rune. Let's check it. Yeah, we don't have the... So we don't have the codex for it. We don't know what it is. We could make a spell with it. But I'll wait for the codex. Fuck it, just go. Torch will be very helpful. Uh, did I reload the crossbow? Yes. Oh, just... So these are Mantorok zombies. They're the weakest. Because Mantorok was bombed. Is it just you, buddy? Uh, sanity at minimum. Blech. Very easy to burn. I guess it's just him. There's nothing else here. Right back. I should probably do this while I'm here. Again, just go in with the two. It is much harder to wheel than drains his stamina, but it's pretty cool against the. Oh, I think I should. I needed the other color. They're gonna kill each other. Right, he's blue. So I need I actually need damn it. Zelotath. There you go. Charge! Fuck you, buddy. This is an Uliot horror, and their Uliot's all about mana. So their hits will drain health and mana. Goodbye. Let's finish this one. Charge! Oh jeez, that's a lot of sanity there. Crossbow bolts. It's not a hallucination. Where did they come from? I came from those... Yeah, from there. I can go here. Ah, yes. Only when thy friend is sacrificed. That's right. I gotta kill my best friend. My buddy. If I lose all sanity, then, uh, well, any sanity attacks will actually drain health, because you're, you're at, at the end of the rope, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, so anything that, that drains sanity, after all sanity is gone, it drains health. So that's why I'm keeping at least a little bit there, so I don't get killed accidentally. Welcome to the stream, Salman JTV. I hope I'm Salman, Salman TV. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I love this game. I love it, love it a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's we're so this is the second run we're doing this year, I guess, <laughs> of Eternal Darkness. Uh they're all low sanity runs, so we've seen quite a few sanity effects in the first run. Some of those I haven't even seen ever. We just had one I've never seen, uh where we went to the to the Amiens Cathedral in World War One day, so yeah. And uh I play everything on actual consoles, so no emulators. It's GameCube and uh, and yeah, directly to the capture card. <laughs> okay, so torch, right? This is a Mantorog zombie. Alright. There we go. That's as low as I'm willing to go with sanity. Those are Zelotad zombies. They also burn. Wait, Zelta or Uliot? I can't tell. Nope, oh, that's an Uliot zombie. Hold on, right back, folks. He's, he's like, at the deep end now. Okay, uh, red, green, so red. We need Chaturga. No? 
Chaturga. Enchant with Chaturga. Red, green. No, wait, wait, wait. What am I saying? Red, green, blue. We need the green. Yeah, okay. I'm actually ready for them. Hello? Don't let him explode. They will try to explode. Screw you, buddy. I'll just kill one of them. Finish him. Die, you beast. Oh, the whole room's bleeding. Nice. Where's that codex? I think it was somewhere here. Maybe, maybe beyond the door. Oh wait, red, green, blue. Okay, now I need Uliath. Now we do need Uliath, which is... Here we go. Thanks for the follow there, Salman JTV. Appreciate it. Alright. Let's sl do some slaughter. I gotta do overhead swings because it's very narrow for anything else. So I can just get past them. My sanity is low enough. Are they a little sped up? Is this also a sanity effect? Maybe I'm just tripping balls. Blue. Now I can take his arms off. He's got nothing to fight me with now. Oh, he's still alive. Fuck. You done, boy? Yeah, Jesus Christ, Chaturga. There we go. Now we can make... We can actually properly make these spells. So what was it? Enchant item is Enterbok and Magrmore. Enterbok, Megamore, and then Pargan Pargan. Pargan Pargan. I love Uliot's voice. That's why I kept, like, normally I would have done Chaturga's run last, but I wanted to save Uliot's voice for the last. We're gonna hear a lot of Uliot in that one. Okay, what's the next one? Recover. That was like Absorb Self, Nerkat, and Santek. Uliot. Pargan Pargan. Santek. America. There you go. That was Reveal Invisible. Nerkat Redgomor. Absorb Area, that's right. So we have level 5 of that. Damage Field. Bankrock Redgomor. Protect area. Yeah, there you go. The spell magic is net like red gomor. What was it? Absorb area? The spell area, that's right. What's next? The spell magic. Summon trapper now will become summon zombie, that's right. Which is tier aratech, summon creature, yeah? And what else? Shield. Shield was Bankrock Santec, okay? So let's do a summon. Tier Aratec. Summon creature. Yeah! We don't know it yet, because we haven't found the thingamajig, but uh, you can discover, you can play around in this game. What was the... Damn, I forgot. What was the shield one? Protect self? Bankrock Santec, I think. Bankrock Santec. Self. Yeah, protect self. Alright, so all the spells that we have so far have been upgraded. And we can summon zombies as well. So, with that out of the way, let's get the final piece of evidence. Do I need to read it? I don't know. I never played this without reading everything, even though I did it. Oh yeah, it is different. Well, just this. The essence of the unholy Uliot. That's the part that changes in this playthrough, yeah. 
What does it say about the altar? A blasphemous shrine stands at the end of the room, dedicated to an unholy god. Paul can sense the evil and finds it difficult to approach. What did you just find there, my man? All right. Let's go confront them. Be like, ah, we know you're almighty and evil. Oh god, I'm a zombie. That's a rare one. I can... I'm a Chaturga zombie, no less. Look at the details. My god, for 2000... This game was actually developed for the Nintendo 64. And you can see remnants of that. It's kind of like the graphics remind me of Duke Nukem Zero Hour on the GameCube. Is that kind of library, I guess? But still, they did... Like, they did beef it up for the GameCube. It still doesn't look as good as some GameCube games. But it looks damn good. So, can I go? Oh, I'm still a zombie. Okay, I guess we're doing that. This is my run now, that I'm a zombie. Yep. No more. This can't be happening! Oh, nice. Okay, so... At least I know now the reason why I often didn't find many... Uh, Sanity effects with Paul and Lindsay is because their sanity is high, I guess, so it's got to be really low for it to count. Let's go visit my only friend. The only one who believes in me. Hello, statue. Don't mind me, I'm just going home. Damn, it's a long road. Could you just teleport me there again? Be like, okay, you found the evidence. Off you go. No, it's backtrack all the way. With haste, I bring the evidence of the dark magics in this church that apparently bleeds from walls often. The rain's falling still. Let's hope no monsters. Oh yeah, the, the angle changes now once you find the last one. We're looking from this angle. At the start, we were looking up from the balcony. Just ignore everything. Keep going. I'm just gonna assume there's a sanity effect because of because it took longer than normal to load. Just can't figure out what it is. What if his one of his sanity effects is nothing? <laughs> so trippy when you leave it like this. Listen, friend, I got shit for you. Hey, zombie, good to see you, brother. How are you? Thanks for the resub, man. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, and Lyubka, thank you for the resub. That's the first thing I wanted to say, but I was so happy because of the cable. I forgot my bad. Thank you so much. <laughs> How are you doing there, buddy? A full year, man. A full year. You've been listening to me. <laughs> Andrew suspected Augustine all along. There, there he is. He's Colonel Campbell. Remnants of his journal, and it all points to Augustine's involvement with a paganistic cult operating inside can you, the can cathedral. Can you hear him? Aye, the cathedral's dark secret has been uncovered. I too suspected this, but was too afraid to act. Augustine himself is a heretic. He has covered his tracks well. Well, not claiming as well as you say <laughs> the hand of Jude was stored here he had those who came to see it murdered the hand of Jude never existed and with that realization the trap closes brother my days here are numbered remember the statue we saw to find this cruel dagger placed upon my pillow this morn it can only mean one thing they gave him, they gave much, it to me, and they are 
I mean, they gave it to him to give it to me so I can sacrifice him. What the fuck? I have left is enough to save my soul. Please, take this thing away from me. Its very sight troubles me to no end. May your faith protect thee, Brother Luther. For that's all you have. <laughs> Poor friend. I feel for his pain. <clears throat> it would really suck not to be able to play Outbreak, right? Chaturga sent his servants to silence him. I'm not even gonna go back and check. I'm just gonna assume he's alright. Just gonna live in the bell tower from now on. <laughs> Sanity's still low. Oh. I guess I sat on my remote. This isn't really happening. Ah. Oh shit, zombie. Never mind, I'll just ignore everything. I think it's gonna be full of zombies now, is it? Yep. Oh fuck, it's a bone thief. You know what? I gotta go and heal some sanity because I'm gonna run past a lot of fuckers now. Shit, even here? I thought this was a safe place. Is nothing sacred to your demons? Sanity. Health. And mana just... No, there's no recovery of mana. Alright, save. Uh, you can't save while they're dying on the floor. Die faster! Thank you. Wow, something actually listened to me. Oh shit, help! <laughs> Alright. Who is it? Well, I'm coming out anyway. No need to knock. Ah! Damn, I hate the bone thieves. Rest. Before it jumps on me. Is there anything else here? Oh no, okay. I guess... Just fucking run. You hear that too, do you? Where's the map? Where do I need to go? What did the... Uh, yeah, he gave me the knife. Okay, gotta go back all the way down. All the way down, Morty. I swear I hear things. Nothing here. Oh, they're just... okay. Whoa! Enough? Do we have enough? Shit. You know what? I don't want to go to the Trapper Dimension, so... The only thing the crossbow is useful for... Well, not the only, I just don't use it as much. It's easier to whack things with the... Um, with the mace or the sword. Are you real? Or my imagination? Nope, they're real. I think I can just run past whatever comes my way. Ignore him. Just fucking ignore him. Oh, I shouldn't ignore him. He's a bone thief. I guess he didn't notice me all this time. Okay. So he's red, green, blue. So Ulia. This will take care of him very quickly. This won't let me. This won't let him eat your bones will be fine. Oh, uh, that was very shitty. I guess because I beefed it up. <laughs> okay, yeah. Let's sacrifice the friend. The souls this blade has taken live on within its metal. Oh, that's nice. Thanks, Sash. Adorable. Oh, I can't exit because... Oh, he's dying there. Never mind. I mean, I can't save. There you go.
Hmm, gotta dispel red, green, blue. So we gotta use dispel five Ulioth. No more sanity effects, I guess. We're gonna see another... That's the custodian. Lying in a pool of his own blood is the custodian. Paul's only ally in his fight against the darkness. His soul no doubt lingers, fused to the altar on which his life has been taken, watching over his own rapidly cooling corpse. Feeling all hope escape him, Paul's situation is suddenly a thousand times more desperate than before. Now he is alone, alone against the darkness. May the rat eat their eats their no, may the rats eat their eyes, I guess. You are a clever man, Brother Luca. Wanting answers to clarify your new position as fugitive. You seek them out, and this is what you find. yourself think of when he finds a viper's nest of heresy when he finds the very source of corruption i think of irony irony of what you masquerading as a member of the inquisition stand for and that you stand for evil evil is merely a perspective which no longer concerns me, Luther. You will be executed in the most painful manner imaginable. After we have broken your frail body and mind in the name of our true lord, Chaturga. Chaturga. Come, my children. Feast on this morsel and let us return to our preparation. <laughs> no, not that joke. Look at them. I like how all three of them have, uh, all three ancients have different creatures. And Chaturgas are really interesting. They're all interesting, but Chaturgas are especially disgusting. Alright, that was much easier than I thought. Fuck those guys, in particular. I guess he doesn't even want to stay <laughs> long enough to see if they kill me. He's like, ah, oh, they, they never, they never, <laughs> they never failed me so far. So I guess I can just do this. There you go. That's it. We're gonna finish this scenario. Or chapter. What is? We're going even deeper. Who built this? Wait. Is there anything? No, that's with, again, that's with the other guy, yeah. Peter Jacobs, that's his name. Damn, I've been trying to remember this whole time. This door is decorated more than most within the catacombs. Sensing an immense evil beyond behind this door, Paul wonders if the ceremony the punk ha monk has mentioned earlier is taking place behind it. Well, yeah. Tortuga, how did you... Yeah, it's It means turtle? Oh, yeah, yeah, that guy, okay, yeah. <laughs> so remember when I said the Black Guardian is different for all the ancients and how each one of them kills Paul differently, different way? I think Chaturga wins in the way it kills him, just check this out. <laughs>
What the fuck? to guard this place. Do not worry about this world. This kind yelps in terror at the sight of your mightiness. We will dispose of him ourselves. <laughs> it's my favorite way he dies of all three. They all thought was like kind of cut him in half. I forgot what Uliot one does. I think it just like pfft, makes him explode. But this one is literally like, <laughs> swat him like an insect. Yeah, Tortuga. So that's a character from what's the name of the Walt Walter White Walter White show? Uh, Breaking Bad, right? It's a Danny Trejo. Danny Trejo plays that guy in Breaking Bad. So I think she meant because Danny. Dan, you're Daniel. <laughs> um, so Danny Trejo, then Tortuga. I think that's... I, I might have missed something here. I don't know how you got to Tortuga. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how... Nobody mentioned... At least in my chat, Tortuga's name didn't pop up. But okay. <laughs> A note from Edward. I think that's the one with 60-something keys. Dear, my dearest Alex, I'm glad that you have followed my paper trail thus far. I knew I could depend on you. This will be the hardest part of your journey. Look for the 88 keys to continue your journey into the past. That's the thing with the piano, I thought, from earlier. So I was ahead of myself. I did? I probably said something else. I don't remember saying... I, I don't remember that. Probably misunderstanding who knows but i'll be back in uh two minutes guys i'm actually gonna leave it i'm not gonna go to the be right back screen because i think we'll get the the <laughs> chaturga yeah it was chaturga thank you <laughs> oh god <laughs> um uh we might get i think we're gonna get the 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 pious screensaver which is also sanity effect so don't go anywhere i'll be right back with more eternal darkness
I was gonna say, oh, there's no, there's no pious screensaver. <laughs> but just as I was about to push the button, it happened. <laughs> nice. Okay, we got that as well. That one's new for me. First time saw it today. All right, what's next? 88 keys, right? So it would have been cooler like last time. What did you see? If we... What's the... What's the sloshy sound? It would have been cool if we... There we go, it's the bleeding room. And the footsteps. Well, it's not just the room, it's the pieces of meat and everything. Yeah, her sanity is pretty low. We're not curing it though. It's bleeding at different locations even. Sounds like it's having a blast. <laughs> Every room is gonna bleed now, right? Yeah, no guide there, but we can examine the piano now. Seeing the piano stirred up distant recollections of Paul Luther's story in Alex's mind. The echoes of those of those notes within the cathedral echo also within her own consciousness. Her hands are drawn to the keys almost of their own accord. Should Alex play the piano? Yes. Alright, another chapter page. The Forbidden City. I love all the chapters in The Forbidden City. Who are you? I am your lord and conqueror. What manner of forsaken being are He sees him for who he is. So, you can see me in my true form. Are a gifted man. Take this one and use him as the foundation for the pillar. He is special and should be given a special place among the suffering. Damn. He really doesn't like that guy. <laughs> Let's go. Much has been written about the exploits of conquerors. In the context of history, one man's champion is another man's nemesis, hero or murderer. Much has been written, but what has not is far more interesting. The Tome of Eternal Darkness mentions a Venetian artist and architect of the Renaissance named Roberto Bianchi. Roaming abroad to find inspiration, he was captured by a warlord expanding his empire. He forced Roberto to use his architectural and engineering skills to construct a monument to his greatness. To complete his task, he must survey the site. Oh my, such beautiful colors. Look at it, it looks even better than before. Ah! Survey the site quickly, dog, and maybe you'll live long enough to see the sacrament's construction. Did you think we would trust you, Bianchi? Even though you are graced with the generosity of our liege, you are still his prisoner. As I said, finish your work quickly. And maybe we'll drag you out of this hole. That's a lot of ifs and maybes. All right, so with Roberto, we got a, the main task is to survey the the site for the monument, which they gave us a map right away to work with. The monument is the circular thing right here, so everything, the whole level is based around it. And like I always say, uh, I think uh, Pius has a soft spot for this location. The Forbidden City, because that's where he finds his ancient at the start of the game. <clears throat> so 
So we gotta find all the spots where there are these black axes appear. Those are the spots we gotta survey. So let's go. Let's save. <laughs> yeah. Good to see you there, Mark. You heard me rant about this game a lot, but you've never seen me play it, so... These are not the most interesting chapters, honestly. I love everything in the Forbidden City, but again... I think the hook of this chapter is the most interesting thing. The chapter itself is just like doing this. Where am I now? Yeah, nothing in this one. And I'm not reading a lot of things things because I read them in the first. Um, I read them in the first playthrough. I wanted to make this one faster. But I'm always... <laughs> I always want to read the, these things. Even when I'm playing the, the solo, like at home. At home, like right now I'm at home. But I mean, not on the stream. I still read this every time because that's the... That's the part of the big part of the fun for me. Oh, do I do have a torch? They gave me a torch, right? He just starts with a torch. Being an architect doesn't pay off in these times. Did I save? Well, let's... No, you can't save. The darkness is coming, is it? Yeah. So right now I'm there. I came from... Because the maps overlap, you can quickly see which places are connected. So we came from the north room there. We can go west, which will take us... Oh, there's nothing there. Let's go west. What is it? What is it, boy? Oh, it's Shadurga Zombie. You know what? Fuck these guys. I went... Hmm, maybe I, I went the wrong way. Fuck that. Okay, because the ladder is on the opposite side. I see. There's nothing there. Just avoid him. His stamina is not really good, but it's still better than the zombies. Not quite a, not quite a runner. Wait, wait, wait. There should have been one ladder. Oh no, just that one. Okay, just at the end of the hallway. Fellow slaves. You just saw a zombie there. What do you think was eating the guy? <laughs> Hello guys, let me survey this room for you. Oh god, the colors and everything. The smoothness, like the constant 60 frames in this game, even though it's interlaced, it looks wonderful. One day, one day we'll get to a point where I can stream interlaced games at their full resolution, but for now this is all we have. We got a scythe. Anything else to pick up? No. Anything to talk with the guys? Hello, guys. Hello? No, they're not chatty. Hello, sir. Would you stop ignoring me? No, I guess. Man, I love the music from this temple. The choir. It kind of... I don't know, it kind of paints the... Oh, there we go. I'm glad I stuck around. Uh, paints the longevity and importance of this place. All right, now we gotta do that. That's all I have. I don't have the tome yet. No spells, nothing. Yeah. Okay. Oof. Did I save? I saved just now. Fuck it. Who's going first? I hope it's Mantarog zombies. Yep. Nope. It's her. It should kill him unless he decides to get up. Let's make sure so I don't fight five of them at once. Because they also they regenerate uh, the limbs, but they make phantom. Yeah. Okay. Only the limbs. So uh, Zelthad zombies. They regenerate limbs as like phantom entities, but they're also weak to fire, like Mantra zombies. These guys, though, can be dangerous, so let's... Don't let them explode. Whoa! Oh, damn it! <laughs> Nice, okay.
I don't think they'll get up. But those guys might get up. Yep. Screw them. Bye. Another room to survey. He tells a story for each room. Bye bye now. <laughs> there we go. The crossbow will be helpful. We do need the Tome of Eternal Darkness, which I think he's gonna find right about now. You wanna talk to me, boy? The man babbles incoherently about worms devouring his countrymen, and that Roberto will be next. I feel as if I did this twice on stream, even though I only did it once. Here we go. That's where I want to go. So we should see... There he is, Paul. Two more characters to die for the light. So all the characters that die, not all of them die, but very few of them live. Especially since most of them were hundreds of years ago. But all of them that die, you know, fighting the cause, are placed here. Uh, from what I understand, this is Mantorox. Mantorox made this, it's outside time and space. As we know it. And also Pius. We talked about this last time. Which I found out like this year. That um, he breaks his own statue. In the tutorial. I love these screams. <laughs> and the faces on the floor. Hello darkness my old friend. I've come to read from you again. Hello, sir. He's the coward guy, right? He confesses to cowardice. Yeah, alright. What's What awaits us at the bottom of this? Oh, oh, shit. I don't need anything healed for now, so... Yeah, I have all the spells now, so I can kill these bastards. Oh. These are the last two guys who use the crossbow, I hope. I, think, I don't think anybody else uses the crossbow. Just Roberto and... Paul. Should I leave one of them? Nah. So those are the trappers. They teleport you to your trapper dimension. Which you can use to heal any of your attributes. And also as a safe place. But it can also be, you know, not so safe place. Next one's there. And that one's gonna go below. Yeah, okay, that's where I wanna go. But there's also this. How do I get there? Aha, from there. Okay, I see everything. Damn. He's going. Oh, that's. They don't see me for some reason. Red, 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 green, blue. So I need Uliath. Uliath. I'm gonna say sword. They don't see me. I could be invisible, but where's the fun in that? Charge! Come on, quicker, before he comes here. All right, now finish him. That one guy will finish. Oh, run, run. Don't let him get you. He's slow, but lethal. Screw you, buddy. Oof, like it's all pixel close. Can't run anymore. Ooh. Now all the gatekeepers, that's what these guys are called, they drain your sanity constantly. And if, if they catch you in this lunging thing, it gets pretty hard. Okay. Unfortunately, we're not listen to. We won't listen to much of the music because uh, we need those sanity effects. Man, Roberto, you're so slow. Make. 
Oh, isn't that lovely? Well, I'll be right back. He was blue, right? Red, green. So I need... I need Zelta. Level 5 as well. Fuck it. His mana is lacking, to say the least. I'm just gonna save everything in the head. That's my... <gasps> We're fighting each other. Fuck, 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 fuck. Run, 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 run. Oh, jeez. Well, oh, he's... He's got good vitality, at least. Keeps drain draining my mana. Okay, I'm gonna need some sanity. Just a little bit. Thank you. Oh, that's plenty. Okay, from here... From here, I gain, got in there. Okay, there's a little room. Nothing interesting there. The man's body has been pulverized, being thrown against the wall. <laughs> Damn. Just the descriptions. Feels kind of RPG-ish because of all this flavor text. This time slashed from behind as he ran from his attacker. That's what the coward guy escaped from, I think. This is just 25 years before the chapter we just played. We make zombie shoop. So I want to go there first, I think. Let me check the map. Below? Yeah, okay, I want to go there because I want to check the original room. Right? I think. Pretty sure. Ravage corpse. Well, they'll end up zombies too. That guy looks like Anthony almost. All right, let's let's put a zamboni here. Let's send them a Uliad zombie. Why not? Right. <laughs> Faster into your death, please. Yeah, <laughs> redecoration. All right. I think I'll need reveal invisible below, or or is it the next chapter? I'm not sure. Oh shit, son. Red. So I need the red. Red. Enchant. Chaturga. Red. Green. Blue. Yeah. So maybe I should have refilled some sanity. That's a mentor zombie. Easy to handle. Don't let that guy bully you. Just show him what you got. Oh. Jim. All right, let's kill that trapper. Do I need to? You know what? Actually, I'm gonna heal with that trapper. Trapper boy, take me to safety. What's going on here? I'm completely crazy at this point. What do I want to refill? Help! I'm gonna say help. Don't change. Ah, you almost tricked me. Ah. Ignore him. They can't hear hurt you if you don't look at them. Actually, this will be a lot easier to just slap him with this once. You too, sir. 
and finish one of them with a save. I'm just partially mad now. <laughs> Are we where I think we are? So where am I now? I'm there. Because I came from there. Okay, okay, I see. There's one room. Yeah, that's where the artifacts were originally, I think. Ah, yeah. It's the room. Venture no further or be struck down where you stand. Who? What? I am the guardian of this temple. The Not willingly. City. None shall enter except the chosen. Speak. <laughs> you are the chosen. Poor Kareem. For many years I have tested those who came here and all have failed. You are unaffected by the power I wield. And thus must surely be the chosen i once i was as you were confused and without answers yet they came in time now my duty is complete i can finally rest my sacrifice was not in vain nobody ah oh, that look you know what you did Just the little touches. I love it. He's been there for almost a thousand years. Since like year 500 something. Just waiting for someone to release him. Alright. Roberta can feel the acidic touch of the artifact's magic reaching toward him. Using a shred of cloth from his robes to shield his hands. He retrieves the, the hovering artifact. The essence of Zelata. And the ruby effigy. Okay, we need a second effigy with him. Survey. Shrine to the Ancients, yeah. I love how, like, because of the low sanity, the, the view is slanted, but uh, whenever the cutscene kicks in, <laughs> it just corrects itself. Can we go here? We should be able to, yeah. A construct of human bones lashed together to form a small shrine. A shade of skin tops the edifice, making the light cast eerie shadows on the walls that glow with a warmth of their own. Can we put the book there? That was just with one of them, yeah. So this room is... there's nothing here. The ladders collapse, that's where Kareem went in. Well, in a thousand years I would collapse too. But that's it. There's like There's no point to this room in this chapter other than, you know, it was there. I've never found anything in it. Damn, Roberto, you're slow. Like, Paul is... Paul is quite an athlete. Athlete. Compared to... Roberto. Some characters walk faster, I swear. What does the map say? So I got there. So we finished the lowest floor. And we finished the... Well, the first two floors as well so we just need have two here but before we do that i have to find that effigy okay, the third door is gone so this door here has been removed huh okay <clears throat> okay nobody told me there's gonna be a party here guys be right back red yeah, it needs to be Uliath. You know what? I'm going to shortcut this one because I'm going to use it more and more. Enchant, assign, five point Uliath to... There you go. Y button. There you go. Now I can just push the button and fuck you. Makes more sense because there's a lot of... Ah! He did that on his own. Because he's snapping. Wait, they're already Uliath. What the fuck am I doing? Oh. <laughs> Never mind. A little setback. Cast 5 point. Green, blue. So, uh... Zelta. Yeah. 
Are you ready, boys? Oh, I should have been invisible. Must. Oh, no, 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 that's not good. Don't let them. Okay, don't let them sing in unison. Never let them sing in unison. Alright, everyone dead? Thanks. Whew. Okay, places I can go to now. Yeah, I want to go. I want to go there first. That's right. Because that's, I think, where the thing is going to be. I think it's... Yep, it's right here. So we need... It's red. So we need green. Reveal. Invisible. I know because my controller vibrated very hard when I approached that place. It needs to be five point, I think. No, wait, it needs to be blue. What the fuck am I doing? <laughs> uh, we get to here. There it is. No, don't do that. You'll attract him. So that's what that's for. I never, actually never hit me before. You, you're revealing yourself when you're crazy. Quiet. Anyone else? Yeah, there he is. Slowly, very slowly. <laughs> Silence of the trappers. There we go. There we go. That's what we need. This is so this is optional, but it'll help in the final boss battle a lot. It's collapsing. Anything in this room? Because are we even we're not surveying this one. So I guess I'm just getting in there. Because nice memories and all. Ah, yes, because I had the... Oh! Another one! That's the final one, is it? Did we have the, this one last time? Ah, sweet Alex. Ah, yeah, okay, yeah, we did. Many centuries I've waited for hey, Trollosaurus! You are mine! Good to see you, buddy. She knows, okay. Smart, Alex. You can try to fight me, but in the end, you shall succumb to my desires. My foolish child, you don't even know your own destiny. Get away from me! He's trying to wear her down. Nice. This isn't really happening! Yeah, it's been. <laughs> I guess we got a touch on that. <laughs> yeah, it's been. Life squeezing hard, that's all I can say. But it'll get better, I'm sure. Where am I? That doesn't sound good. Okay, because I have the reveal invisible. I can see everything. Okay, let them fight each other, actually. This is good for me. Did you just finish a horror? Oh my god. Those guys just finished the horror. Red, green, blue. Red, green, blue. So we need blue for these red guys. Don't move. Wow, they just killed a horror together. Get a, their heads so they can't see you first. And then we should just, while well, they're swatting blind, they get their arms so they can't even hit you. Oh. Now they're just naked. The big guy is. The other guy is fine. Because these guys, like I said many times, Chiturga zombies regrow their limbs. As See? His head is already back. So we've got to do it quick. Should I finish that guy? You know what? Just that one guy. I want to keep low sanity, but... <laughs> the whore, yeah. <laughs> There's a key placed on the pedestal. It glints in the room's soft light. The forgotten corridor key. 
Yeah, because I already had reveal invisible. I guess that's how it's supposed to be. That's how you're supposed to find out. You come into this room, then you see this like, well, it's right there, the reveal invisible five point symbol, and then you do that, and then you go into the next room while the spell is still in effect, and it uncovers the sapphire effigy for you. But yeah, this is where we got the Ram Dao with uh, with Kareem, a thousand years ago. I'm tired, am I? No, he's just slow, I guess. He's just got shit stamina. I swear he feels like Mr. Red sometimes. Pretty tanky for an artist. Let's heal some help. I think these so low sanity runs because of this like slanted screen, they're gonna <laughs> break my neck. Alright, next here. I think there's something scary is gonna be in that door. Something big and scary. Is it even worth my attention? Is it gonna be Oh, he doesn't see me. I think they'll attack me. Yep. No? I think as soon as I survey it, they're gonna attack. Yeah. So I'm just gonna run from here. There's nothing else here. Screw you, buddy. Yeah, they're all, they're all been hijacked by bone thieves, so to say. Hello, sound. You okay? Well, that's new. Yeah, it was an exclusive deal with uh, with Nintendo. I think Silicon Knights was already kind of in trouble. They never were okay after Blood Omen 1, really. And um, I think that's why it was an exclusive deal. But also because it's the same team that ported the... Uh, well, remade Metal Gear Solid as Metal Gear Solid twin snakes for uh for the gamecube there's a lot of voice actors shared between the games as well but yeah i don't know i like that it was stuck on the gamecube because i don't think this game would fly as good on the ps2 on on xbox maybe well yeah definitely xbox was as strong but ps2 they would have to sacrifice a lot it wouldn't be as smooth like i always say because i convert it from interlace to progressive because Switch doesn't support interlaced. You see, you guys see half the frame rate, so it's at 30 frames for you guys, but it's so smooth on the TV. It's a lot of GameCube games are like that. Very smooth and oh yeah, the key. It is too bad that GameCube didn't make it, so not a lot of people were exposed to this game, but it's one of those things, I guess. Okay, so we need a full shield now. Uh, shield everything. Actually, I'm just gonna shield my health. Actually, I'm gonna shield everything. Because I already have low sanity. Cast, 5 point, mental. The whisper of 1000 deaths. Well, billion deaths, really. Right on time. Was there anything here? Well, we got the blue effigy. That's all that matters. Oh, really? I'm glad you did, man. Yeah, not a lot of people, especially in, in, in like... Oh, Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> scared me. Especially in, like, our neighborhood in the Balkans. Not a lot of people had the GameCube. Yep. So we're going to find out what that's all about. Humans thrown into a nest of huge worms. By the time the Wii came out... Oh yeah, we gotta do that. Yeah, that's right. Is there a, a sequel to this? Man's skeletal remains in the cruel embrace of multiple worm-like creatures. Oh. Hasha! I mean, Hasha! What the... I said hasha, goddammit. 
Maybe from this side? Yeah, there you go. You gotta swing the right way. Don't survey while they're trying to kill you. Down, boy! Uh. Oh, even back then, really? Yeah. I didn't... I actually never tried emulating GameCube or the Xbox. By that time, I was already out of emulation, really. Is there anything back there? Yeah, I opened the thing, that's right. All right, that does it, I guess. Here we go. I think you gotta go back substantial, substantially to see the effect. Protect my health at all? Let's try. Yeah, it does. Okay, everything protects health. This protects man and sanity too if they're Uliot or Zelda. Fair enough. Oh, he is tired. I would be tired from that. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> this room is also bleeding. The way he closes the doors, I, I don't know if it's because his sanity is low or is it normal for Roberto, but it just. Oh, look! Is it. Are those the rats? Are, yeah, I think they're red. Yep, they're rats. Never mind. I thought it's another one of those sanity effects. When a bug crawls across the screen. Man, this chapter would go so much faster if Roberto could run. Same goes for the heresy chapter. You could actually run, you know. Fuck this. Uh, I want the torch. Because I want to see where the fuck I'm going. We got the effigy. Which is the most important thing in this chapter, really. That you can miss. Yeah, he's old. Or maybe he's just an artist and like he's not his slave as long as these guys are so he's still not fit <laughs> I guess <laughs> he's struggling he's, he's used to eating grapes oh, oh wow you're real I thought this is a hallucination down boy oh those are the guys yeah okay I didn't kill them at the start it actually remembers enemies very good Hello, comrade slaves. I'm running to the master. Bring him news. But this place is fucked beyond repair. I hear zombies. Where am I? I'm right there. I came from there. Okay. So just... So just to run uh, around the corner, climb up the stairs, and you're home free. Yeah, that's the guy. That's the same zombie we left before. Okay. <laughs> there he is, okay. And what news do you bring me, architect? The, the, the foundations are infested. Demons and devils. Many lives will be lost if you try to build there. Mm, you have done well to complete your goal, Bianchi. The construction will continue as planned. But the demons... But the You'd demons. be insane to build there. Silence, dog. What dwells beneath the Forbidden City is the very reason it was built. For you to understand, you must witness it firsthand. Let me educate you. Guards, put this one with the others of the sacrifice. I'm never gonna take this freelancing work again. <laughs> I am the scourge of God, appointed to chastise you. 
since no one knows the remedy for your iniquity except me. You are wicked, but I am more wicked than you. So be silent! Now you, architect, you are about to make your largest contribution to this project. Ugh. It's probably one of the darkest endings of any chapter in the game. How did they do it? Did they fill it with cement, then like add people, then fill more cement? Because they'd have to be like in different positions, otherwise they'd all be on top of each other. <laughs> if you survive the fall down the well, of course. Alright. Ah, yeah. Okay. Now we gotta survey. So around the, the, the picture, the framed picture of the... What is it called? The, the monument? The bone? Tower or something like that. You got a survey now. <laughs> she finds another chapter page. Roberto's Rober spirit is aiding her, hey? I love this cutscene in any form. Like, just the way he's focused on his work. <laughs> Hunger increases, and the binding continues to weaken. We feed it flesh, but I fear it will not guard the relic too much longer. <laughs> there is no choice in the matter. It must remain and guard the artifact until the time of planetary alignment. After that, the Guardian may return to its lair. Our master does not like failure. My liege. It is imperative to keep the binding intact. Then we have to find more flesh and bone. <laughs> Just the awkward silence. You know what to do? <laughs> Alright, next chapter. That was from the last one, yeah. The war to end all wars redefined how mankind looked at war and the value of human life. Over 19,000 men lost their lives every day in the trenches of the Somme. Some say uselessly, some invoke a higher cause. I read accounts of the slaughter from many journalists who spent time in the trenches, but I found the account of a certain Peter Jacob to be the most horrible of all. His implication about the ancients' involvement with the war was hideous and so obvious. With the horror of the Battle of the Somme scant miles away and the distant echoes of pounding artillery, a young journalist named Peter Jacob researched his latest story from the front lines. His grim task brought him to Oublier Cathedral, now transformed 19, into a field 16? hospital. Yeah. So that's what we saw in the... I find no solace. Oh, well, hi, Raziel. find all the senseless violence that surrounds that's what we saw in the sanity effects with uh, Paul Luther. Shelling, machine guns, mustard gas, rip, pierce, burn to flesh. Men so gauze in their own urine to stop the insidious gas. The hospitals here cannot cope with the torrent of wound. He looks so much like human Raziel, doesn't he? I th think Silicon Knights, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if Silicon Knights did this on purpose. Because it's a cathedral, it kind of looks like Soul Reaver 2-ish. And then there's this Raziel-ish guy. I don't know. Maybe I'm just looking too much into it. We gotta collect all the soldiers' letters. No, Timmy. Don't die on me, Timmy. The hair and the, like the, 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 the shape of the chin. Let's do it slowly. 
Okay, there's something else to read. It's bloody all over. Well, the only guy we can't examine, we can zoom in on him. Ah, yeah, that's where we're gonna get the seven point. So both circles of power, where ironically we get in the cathedral. <laughs> Okay, what's the first task? Well, <laughs> I mean as human, I mean human Raziel, yeah. As a... As a... Lich, he didn't have anything really. That's the orders, right? Yeah, okay, we need that to progress. Private Thompson. God save the king. Do we have... Does he have a flash... Uh, uh, a torch? I think everybody has a torch. But he finds it in a different room, probably. Anything else here? Yeah, it was dumb of me to explain that. You were there the whole game. <laughs> the whole series, rather. Timmy! Private Thompson. Yeah, we gotta give him the orders. Send him to die. Bloody hell, lad. We must be on the offensive. <laughs> Blo I like how they spelt it. <laughs> God, it looks good. The brightness, the, the sharpness, everything. Don't mind the corpses. Stacked like logs. <laughs> oh my god, no. <laughs> Don't hate Peter, he's a good guy. Alright, it's time. Zoop. <laughs> there is Roberto Bianchi. Goodbye, Roberto. One more person dies. Wait, who's the last person who dies for the book? <laughs> oh God, no. Wait, was there a torch there? I know we're gonna find torch in a torch in one of those rooms. I just, I know. I hope. That's what I hope to see. Maybe there is a torch up there. Who knows? Will the nurse attack me? Yeah, nurse is also possessed. Oh, sorry, nurse. I'm so sorry. Oh shit. I'm a little fucked. I'm gonna lure over here. At least I can heal. They could be... What's it called? Wait. They could be uh, stock sounds. So like recorded a long time ago and they keep being reused. Like some... What is taking my sanity? Like some uh, movie screams we know? There's nothing up there, is there? I hope there's a torch somewhere. I don't want to do this for nothing. Oh, there's another letter. There you go. That's what I need. Another soldier's letter. Dearest. Margaret, yeah. A torch. Give me a torch. Oh, there's another deadly nurse. Ah, sorry. Ignore me. I think the creatures from below can still see me. I think that's what lowered my sanity just before. Yeah, you can see everything. It's the same room. 
so it kind of makes sense. It's the nurse. She's waiting for me, is she? Oh, jeez. Pardon me. I mean, I have a pistol, but... Oh, shit. I'll have to kill the guy. Fuck, 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 fuck. All I have is a pistol. Wait. Yeah, I have to kill him. There's no other way. But to do it, I gotta be smart. If I can just go past, get past her? Nope. Damn, do I have to load my game? I think I have to load my game. I, I'm stuck. Oh, nope, I did it. Oh. You almost had me. Rest. So you can run. Okay, we'll have to run now. Charge! <gasps> They're all bone thieves already. Oh, God. Everybody wants to kill me. I think I need to go downstairs, yes. Go downstairs. Fuck that. There was a rifle there, I'm pretty sure. So let's look for that. Torch. Where is the torch? Man, it could be on the other wall, maybe. Where it didn't go? Not there. Can I save now? Yeah, let's do that. It's gonna get fucky up ahead. Some heals. Oh, torch! Where are you, torchy? I could really use a torch now, guys. More trappers? Hmm. Yeah, a lot of them are stock audio. Some of them overused so much. Chichurga. <laughs> it does sound like that, doesn't it? Oh, gee. Oh, oh, Rick. You know what? I should make myself invisible before I come here next time. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make myself invisible. Don't run after me. Shit, I'll lose stamina and then I'm fucked. Run, run. Run, you fool! <laughs> Don't stop now! Oh shit, rest. I gotta use the... Ooh. Well, this was a safe room, so let's do that. No. Is there a torch or should I fix the power first? I forgot. But what I do remember... Damn. This kind of caught me by surprise. I do want to make myself invisible. So I can... Move around easier. Yeah. Should have done that right away. Oh, he sees me. Uh, he knows I'm there, but he's not gonna attack, okay? That works for me. Hold on a sec. Yeah, it's not there, for sure. The thing is, not everyone can scream. Yeah. A lot of people can scream, or can't scream the way we expect <laughs> screams to sound in movies. He went quickly and without much of a struggle. So yeah, I think their torch is going to be somewhere down there. There's no other place for it left to be. <laughs> yeah, I know exactly why. <laughs> yeah, that's what I want. I want this. Still, where's the torch? Did I miss it somewhere at the start? Man, you can't start in the fucking dark without the fucking torch. What's wrong with you? You gotta rest him. Look at him, he's barely... Well, I'm gonna grab what I can. I th yeah, as far as I remember, you gotta turn the power on, and then it becomes easier. Oh, 
confusing. They're very saintly and magical. Yeah, with the gremlin. <laughs> I saw that like 50 times as a kid. And then I, when I watched the Twilight Zone episode that was made, you know, after. <laughs> I thought the Twilight Zone nicked it from Bugs Bunny. I was a kid. <laughs> oh, it's locked. Oh, how inconvenient. Oh, no. No, no, no. I'm tripping balls slightly. We'll be okay. Rifle ammunition. And there's something else there. More rifle ammunition. Okay, we're gonna need that. Let's start with a revolver for the trappers. One more. Fuck it, I'll, I won't need them. Yeah, that's it. So it's not there? Oh yeah, there's the whole old... There's a whole... What is it called? Like old tower? Can I go there? I thought I need a key, but maybe I'm wrong. I think I need to go there and then come back here. Yeah, let's become invisible. We need that circle of power to open the final room. Yeah, it's open, okay. They're stealing bones. Yeah, this is where the torch is gonna be. That's right. That's right. So now, do I have a melee weapon? No. We're gonna fight each other. Perfect. I'm gonna go to the torch. Ignore me. Yeah. Don't mind me. I'm just a floating torch. How many? 15. You know what? I think I'll have enough. Let's finish him with a revolver. I should have enchanted it really, it would have helped immensely. Reload. No, finish the guy. There you go. They're red, so fuck it. Blue. Jeez, save some bullets. How many enchanted headshots do you need, man? What else is there? I remember there being yeah, a lot of ammo in this room. Oh yeah, let me check that. Yeah, and a lot. Yeah, it was like that. That's one of the probably most famous uh, Twilight Zone episodes. Oh, they don't care about the fire. That's right. Please die. Ah.
I need more ammo. That's what I'm interested in. Any more ammo left here, or is it just you guys? No, I guess not. Wait, there should be one more here. There it is. Nothing else. It's easy to miss some of it. Not that we'll need all of it, but it's gonna help the boss, the upcoming boss battle, a lot easier. Oh shit, no. It's happening again. I don't want to lose my head. Or my arm. Where's that zombie? Never mind. Well, you know what? I'm probably just gonna walk away. Actually, I'm gonna... Never mind. <laughs> this can't be happening! This can't be happening! Now you sound like Raziel. I... Should have been invisible. No more bullets. Well, that was quick. Isn't there another? Isn't there like a melee weapon? You don't have a melee weapons with him, do you? Fuck it. Then it is what it is. Okay, nothing important. I kind of remember ammo being on one of the benches, but maybe it was a sanity effect? Who knows with this game, really, it's hard to guess. <laughs> oh shit! When your memories get mixed up with... Sanity effects? Wow, in the last frame! If she punched me there... He would be dead. No, not the rat! Screw you, buddy. Well, this room's really gone into disuse. Well, it's been another 500 years. There you go, revolver ammo. There's the big sword, two-edged sword. I don't know, I never tried, so I know Paul Luther will never get the two-edged, double-edged sword, two-edged sword, um, if you, if you don't pick it up with Anthony, right? But I honestly don't know, like, will Peter find it if you don't pick it up with Anthony, or is it just lost forever, because it's in the part of the church that you can never access again with another character. That's it. That's all we need here. Wait, that can't be it. We're missing... There's gotta be something else. Torch. Yeah, okay, I do have the torch. Maybe I need that to explore further. Shells. Yeah, it's the same text. <laughs> oh. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Nope, it's not there. Let's just go home. I have a torch, so I'm like I'm I'm that much more rich than I was just before. We gotta find that uh, sheet of music. Is it, does someone leave it here? Nope. Yeah, I need the power to be able to play the organ. That's right. Let's go downstairs. Now I can explore those two rooms. Let's never stream... I... Just... I don't know. Try it. <laughs> There's nothing to show, so it'll just say everything except, you know, for the parts they... Oh, <laughs> I love this one. That hasn't, you know, it'll just fill out the parts. Nah, it'll just fill out the parts that were, that it can. So like, check out the X Y Z person. They last streamed error probably. <laughs> Playing nothing. Absolutely nothing. Stupid. You're so stupid.
<laughs> so is it gonna... Is this... Ah, there are doors here. Fuck, that's why I did, couldn't do it before. Yeah, there are two doors here. I couldn't see in the darkness. So, we need a generator room. Which one comes first? Okay, we got the boiler working. And now, gotta go to the generator. Gotta fix this first, the fuse box. So we'll use the lucky penny instead. Amazingly, it works. Why wouldn't it work? And then start the generator. We should have power on. There you go. Weep. <laughs> it just made itself crooked again. Oh, I love the, love the visual effects. What is it called? Like lens flare. It's beautiful. It was a big deal to calculate on graphics chips of the 2000. We were playing the exclamation point. Quest? Quest! <laughs> the couscous. <laughs> Alright, since the door is locked, I, lo I wish there were more puzzles like this in the game. Where you get to utilize your powers. There, there are very few of them, surprisingly, but... Let's summon an Ulyot Trapper. Ulyot's voice makes that ending <laughs> flow. Oh, it's also invisible? Oh, I got no sanity. He's my enemy now. Oh shit, he's turned against me because I lost sanity. Sorry, little buddy, I gotta put you down. Feel some sanity and then re-invite him. I did a long time ago. A long time ago. Some, some time ago. I think I watched it twice. It didn't leave much of an impression on me. Except the opening gag. I think the opening gag was the best thing about the movie. The rest of it... Eh. <laughs> uh, no, now summon Trapper. Yeah, the opening gag is really, really good. Maybe because I already watched Hangover. And Harold and Coomer and, you know... Similar movies. Goodbye, sir. Wait, can you examine him? Yeah. That's really, really sad. But you gotta go, buddy. Off to the trapper dimension with ya. The little leg on the... <laughs> Sarah! <laughs> I can't wait to stream Final Fantasy series. Like, but like 13... Oh god, such a bad game with such good memories. <laughs> Uh, there we go. The circle of power. We can make seven point spells now. Here comes the very, very interesting part where I redo all of these spells with seven points. I wish that we would do it automatically. At least on the second run. Like all, any spells you found previously, they're available. You know what? I'm just gonna make spells that I remember and then see what I forgot. No, new spell, 7 point. Here we go. 4 bargains, and then something. Absorb self, for instance. Recover. Protect self. And then, um, what else? Protect area. All right, and then uh, summon creature. Ah, spell we don't even have. Let's summon horror. So what do we need? Enchant item. That's.
project item. What else? Reveal invisible. Narrow cut. Red Gamor. Absorber, that's right. Dispel magic. Not like Red Gamor. Dispel area, that's right. Summon Trapper, summon no shield, summon zombie. Okay, that's all the spells we have right now that can go with seven points. That was pretty fast. Summon whore. <laughs> it's quote. It's quote. So quote is for like people quotes and wisdom is for game quotes. Huh. <laughs> oh god, that one. Right now we have the power. We don't go here with him. Ever. I think we'll... Actually, we don't. Yeah. It's only with Paul. I think. We do have the... Thingamajig now. And let's not forget, so now I do want to reveal... Oh, it's a little early. I'm not gonna fight these guys. I'm actually gonna... Oh, shit! Where am I now? In which era am I? I'm in... Oh, we swapped eras. I'm in Paul Luther's era now. So we get two of these in one session. Interesting. So I'm like... I'm in the past now. I'm... 500 years in the past, well, 400 something. I'm in the Inquisition, where Paul was. That's. That's. We didn't have this. We didn't have this last time, did we? I'm not crazy. Uh, reveal invisible, it was red, so we need blue. Red, green, blue, yeah. Now we'll be able to see the, yeah, that. See the door? Shit. No, I think I'll need to kill them. Oh, oh shit. Yep, I do need to kill them. Because they'll be, they'll be very annoying. <laughs> we remembered that. I was playing downpour. Gamut said that. You know what? Enchant with the strongest one. Oh, they're red, right? Just kill them with the sword. Charge! Oh, almost had me. Screw you, buddy. Oh, it's very powerful. Just one hit, their heads fly off. Woo! I'm the Bone Thief Dodger. Oh, it's upstairs. Never mind then. Where do I get the knob, though? I can't remember. Is there a knob there? I, I think it's gonna be missing a knob. And I need the sheet music. Oh, my inventory is gone, is it? My yeah, th there is no knob. Which will be... Which will be in the tabernacle, if I'm not mistaken. For which I need the sheet music. Where do I get the sheet music? I have no idea. Oh, there it is. It's right there. <laughs> okay.
I miss this, honestly. I miss playing games around this time. <laughs> Streaming. Shit music, yeah. <laughs> So there's a there's an album by the group band uh, Ten CC if you remember them if you don't it doesn't matter sister but uh, <laughs> so when we were kids dad told me about because I think I I only had the first album on the on the tape and uh, dad told me there's their second album was also good but nothing else was it was called Sheet Music and I also thought it was like shit music why why do they call it shit music if they want to sell their music <laughs> yeah. Bullets. Well, that's it for this portion of the cathedral, I think. Uh, save, I guess. We didn't get... Uh, I hope we get it by the end. The save. The save game. Corrupt memory card. <laughs> Sanity effect. I'll be right back. Red, huh? Wait. Uh, I just ran out. When Cyrillic there, did you? One more. Woo! Just behead them first. Nice combo. Get their arms. May the rats eat your arms. And your eyes too. Well, fuck you guys. Why am I even fighting you? Just gonna take my time, are you? That guy's dead. He's not coming back. I doubt he will regrow limbs. Nice combo. I like when you do one, two, one, two. Ah, he turned around. You don't need arms, sir. Arms are overrated. Whoa, was that a bone thief inside the zombie? That's like going overboard. Oh, Jesus Christ. You done? Actually, I shouldn't have interrupted it, but recover five. Recover five. Sir? Look at this guy. Santa Chichurga. <laughs> Why not? It's a weird world. <laughs> Should find something at the bottom. Like right about here. Okay, I'm not fucking around with you guys. You know what? The strongest one. What did they do? Oh, I guess that didn't work. Okay, I'm just gonna kill the boss. So I'll, 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 I'll end it soon. The only unique thing is gonna be the boss. It's gonna be the Chaturga Black Guardian. But everything else is about the same. What I wanted to do was this, not recover, enchant item with the strongest blue on the rifle, because it's a horror. There you go. There you go. 
Oops, gotta reload. Off with their heads. We need the big guy. He needs to die first. And the rest of them will easily fall down. Be right back. Which one do I want? The 5 point? Nah, the 7 point. Fuck everything. Cast 7 point blue if I have enough mana. And I do! It will not be lobster soup tonight, unfortunately. There you go. You know what? I don't want them returning. I'll be back here. I disarmed them. Haha. <laughs> Locked. Is that where I came from? Or is that the other one? Yeah, that's the other one. Okay, let's go to the altar first. I don't think there's anything. A couple of... What are their names? Trappers. One down. John, good to see you, buddy. Yeah, I am. I am. How are you doing? It's been a while. What do you mean? The entire game, love? Nah. It's crazy. It's already past nine. Where are you? Is he dead? Oops, there's nothing there to shoot. Yeah, we'll need that for the boss. What's up, John? You working? You're not working at this time. You're sleeping? You're about to sleep, aren't you? Aren't ya? Just a bit more. I'm almost to the boss. If Peter could run faster. If a lot of these characters could run faster, really. Where's the exit? There it is. How about a fucking torch? Yeah, that solves all my issues. Ah! Is this real? Am I, is this real? I don't think it's real. Am I here? It's locked. Yeah, it's not real. I don't think it's real. Oof. This Oof. Isn't really you never know. Thing. Yeah, okay, yeah. Ah, you got me, game. Do I need to recharge something? Nah, nothing. Hey guys, you know what this means? We're gonna continue, uh, so as soon as we're done with Eternal Darkness, this playthrough, we're gonna go back to Chrono Cross. Uh, be right back. Something blue. Oh, just a five point will do, actually. No. Man, I miss talking to John. Okay, you just lie down there. I'll be right back. What did you do? <laughs> no, the suffering comes after this. <laughs> yeah, since no holidays really, I, I let's push to finish Chrono Cross so we can move on, you know? It's been taking a little longer. Nothing else to pick up, right? I might miss something? Nothing 
Nothing there, just a rat. I just got the letter. Oh yeah, it's the last one. Okay. <laughs> yep. Where are we in second? It is awesome that he's good. <laughs> Zombie, the voice of the generation. <laughs> well, he could be the voice of the silent generation. <laughs> What was I doing? Uh, what did we see enough? A lot of red guys inside, right? Zoop. Oh, just one red guy. Don't teleport me still, please. Ah. Well, I tried. What holidays? Wait, wait, it's... Oh, wait. It's the... Thanksgiving, yeah. Is it Thanksgiving? It's November, yeah. I mixed up all my American holidays. Down, boy. There's the soldier. I'm back. Sorry. Binding hole key. All right. That's the. Wait. That's not the same with the. Fuck. Let's finish this guy. Ah. Die. Could it be? Where's the wine cellar? Is it? So, from there... Is that the wine cellar? No. Ah, that's the wine cellar. Yeah, okay. So that would go south. And this is... No, that's not the same room. But it looks like it. <laughs> Man, I love turkey. Too bad we don't have a turkey-related holiday. All our holidays are pork, which, you know, I'm not complaining about, but it's nice to have some variety. Are we sure we're not getting another spell or something here? Like, I, I feel... We have all the runes, yeah, we just need to find the spells, right? We have all the runes. Yep, all of the runes. There's gonna be another useful spell, I just forgot which one. <laughs> yeah, it does. That guy just doesn't want to die, so I guess we'll just let him. Oh shit. Okay, I guess I'll be right back. John, I don't know if you read, I'm very excited. I I have a, not a Super Game, a Game Boy player now. So there's going to be a lot of Game Boy and Game Boy Advance games. This expands the library for streaming a lot. Finish him? No. Actually, yes. I'm going to need insanity. Oh, that doesn't count. I hesitated. Oh. Yeah, and the component cable, yeah. So my wife and sisters got me birthday presents. It took, well, the cable took a long time to get here. The, the Game Boy Player is here since, like, early October, only I haven't had the time to test it out until last week. But now with the component cable for GameCube. I'm very excited, very, very excited. What am I looking for? Wait, I, I got lost. Uh, we want enchantments. Yes, we got enchantments. Charge! 
Oh, die, you beast. Fuck, you know what? Fuck you, beasts. I'm going away. Let them fight each other. That's it, the final hallway. There should be a spell here. How did that guy get there? Yeah? Peter attempts to flip the corpse over. Yeah, they ate his face. Whoa, 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 whoa. Almost didn't get that. Same. Magical attack. That's what we need. G -g 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 spells. Okay, summon horror is next, and then two left. Yeah, okay, we have them all. I will, I will want to. What is it? Uh, Enterbok Red Gumor. So I need five. Enterbok and Red Gumor. Project area, and then seven point as well. No. All right, so we have all the versions of that spell. That's just horror. Now, now we want to assign it. Which one was it? The three point one? I think the three point one is enough, right? Red, green, blue, red. So it's gonna be blue. Ulioth. We're gonna put it to D-pad right. Magical attack. There you go. Now let's save. Actually, uh, enchant all the weapons as well. No, I don't think there's any point. Is there? Fuck it, I'll do it. Yeah. Yeah, but the, yeah, but the. <laughs> oh god, there's a reverse, reverse. Why now, guys? This is not funny. It's fucking not funny. <laughs> Who did that? Sasha? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> good grief, woman, are you insane? Uh, I don't know why is it set to five minutes. And here we go. Why now? You about the Markish? What? <laughs> Hold on. This is going to be harder. This controller is very bad for reverse reverse because it's like the shape. I think the only worst thing is the N64 controller. Save B 1916. Okay. Where's the aim button? Well, I just made a save. The, what, what happens, happens. I use that and A. Like, I gotta use my sixth finger. Well, walking's not as difficult. Let's save now, actually. I like how all the background music is replaced by these devilly choirs. <laughs> the corridor is ended by an elaborate door, decorated in a manner much different than the others. So it's the same with... When he reaches to open it, fear creeps into his gut and begins to eat at his soul. Oh, I like this text. Oh boy. Suspense builds up. He's like, what the fuck? His reaction is also slightly different with each ancient alignment. So let's see how Chaturga handles this. Well, Chaturga, Chaturga's Black Guardian. There's the Uliot's Whale. So it keeps whichever ancient pious picks at the start of the game. This Guardian will keep the opposing one's essence. You know, the one that, that can destroy it. All right, John. Thanks for dropping by, man. Is the battle any different? I think it's different with this guy. Duh. 
No, the run! Don't do that. Oh, yeah, this is gonna be fucky with the reverse. Oh, yeah, the battle is completely different. You gotta avoid the grenades, whatever they are. Oh, shit, and avoid that. And I have that much time to hit him. What was it? Deep at right, was it? There you go. Oof. Don't let him grab you. Yeah, it's the hardest with Zelotad, really. Oh! Oh shit, you can... Yeah, that, that's pretty scary. Oh, I failed. Because I let him hit me. Or I was too close. No, the, the tentacle. And then, quickly. Here we go. Come on, Chitoga zombie! I mean, Chitoga guardian! <laughs> I'm trying to kill you here! Ah, why are you pushing the beam towards me? What now? What manner of evil magic is this? Oh god, more zombies! It's gonna get harder! I need to heal! Uh, not soon enough. Yeah. Come on. I have to move to regenerate my magic. I think reverse reverse expired. Can I fight normally now? Alright. I need magic. Come on, bottle. Let me drink you. Ah. Enchant. Five point blue. Ah. All right. Oh shit 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 too late. It's too bad. Reload. Come out gun. Don't let me down. Don't let me down again. Look at them fighting each other. <laughs> I love that. Oh dear. I forgot he could do that. I'm ready for you, Chitoga. I mean, Chitoga's little baby. Zombies, I will shoot you in the head. Oh, gee. Oh, I forgot about that. Sorry. 
Be right back. Oof. Not the best time for that, Lupka. <laughs> Thank you, though. Ah, I'm out of water. Yeah, I'll have to go for some water after the battle. Forgive me. It's sweaty here. Oh, we're out of enchantment, are we? Ah. Come on, die, you stupid zombie. Thanks, love. Uh. So it's the timing with these. Come out. Thanks, love. All right. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. There we go. Oh, forgive me, Dark Lord. I just need to take a sip of water before I can fight you. Headshot or arm shot? Headshot. <laughs> you bore me flesh and bone. Excuse me, I'm not entertaining enough for you, sir. You know what? How about enchanting this the sword? That would probably work. No, it's the... Well, in this chapter, in this chapter, I have the rifle, the revolver, and the sword, and I have the magical attack, of course, that I'm using on him. But uh, it depends on the on the chapter and the and the era where it's taking place. This is World War One, so that's why he has World War One weapons. Yeah, I like the ricochet sound. Now it's time. Nicely done. Come on, stop pushing the thing. That's not good for my health at all. Come on, faster. Oh, gee. Okay, I forgot about this. I, I, I think I only once played the Chaturga run. So it's gonna be very s little time where I can hit him. Yeah. There you go. Oh shit, don't let him hit you again. I'm gonna die, am I? Yeah, I'm gonna die. I can't heal myself. God damn it. I forgot about this part. I gotta redo the whole thing now. Or just wait for his next attack to try to heal. Yeah, this is the time to heal. Recover. Max. Oops. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dicking around too much with this game in the streams. Oh shit. I moved. I think I moved the stick and interrupted the spell. Well, we can do that again. Well, now, as long as I can load the game book. It's all fine.
Okay, take two. Bro, <laughs> bro. Load. Yep. Oh, I didn't see that. I have to re refund it for you. We can't do remote disaster with the GameCube. <laughs> it's only... Read the text. It's only for the PlayStation 2 games. Well, PlayStation 1. GameCube doesn't have a remote. I just remind me to redeem the tube later, please, if I forget. Can't skip. Ugh. It's 3,500 cash. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> sure thing. I'll send you a check in the mail. Pronounce me like one of your French girls. Wee uh, wee. Oui, oui. That is what we'll do. Oh, screw you, big bad monster. I have... I have... The normal control now. This is way more interesting. I mean, this is way more interesting than what we had with the Zelotad zombie. I mean, Zelotad Boycardian. Oui, oui, mon ami. <laughs> we'll send it wherever you want. Okay, phase two. Here we go, you big ugly monster. It's kind of fitting since this is happening in France. <clears throat> this chapter, at least. Ah, too late. We have to wait for them to die naturally now, because I can't get there. Sacre bleu! <laughs> you watched Allo Allo? <laughs> Ready. What is stopping me? I think I need more sanity. I fucked up again. So let's fix this. Recover maximum sanity. Because this is some bullshit. I can see clearly now the slant is gone. Ouch. Not enough magical energy. I'm not touching the stick. 
Is it this one? I was piecing by. <laughs> Die, ugly monster. Cut his wee wee. Left arm, right arm, and your hand. Good night, sister. So you do need full, you need some sanity because if there's no sanity, they do damage you. Oh, wait, wrong weapon. My bad. I like the piercing effect on the rifle. Uh. Reload, please. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Good night. Actually, you do have the revolver. It's easier to finish them with that. Without risking the big claw. He's dead anyway. One, two, and three. There you go. How's my health? Almost full. Just remember to keep full health for the final phase, because it's gonna be tricky dicky. Don't hit me! Oh, it was close, but I did it. Third zombie, you die. Thank you. One guy down. Are we ready? Time for the phase three. Okay, here we go. He is much easier than the Zeltat boss. Game of patience. Oh god, I almost missed time oh god so so close the last time just one hit away <laughs> as it happens 
Oh, good. And we can get the uh, woolly assassins. I think Uliot's Black Guardian will float in midair or something like that. What a big room. I never tried going back. Let's try that. We did all this. I can just peek back and see. Nope. Oh, you can go back. Rest, you earned it. What if I tried going back? I never really thought of that before now. Just like finish the level. Yep. Oh, there is a whole thing here. Well, look at the size of their room and you just fight in that corner over there. Was it just straight in here? Peter shouldn't leave the hall unless he has the essence of Uliath in his possession. With the greater guardian of Chaturga defeated, the artifact lies unguarded at the other end of the biting hall. Huh. Okay. That's new for me. <clears throat> Rest. Okay. He's all hunched like... <gasps> Ready? Charge! What a waste of architecture. There's nothing here. Again, you know, this whole room to... <laughs> To safeguard this one relic. I know, it's very important to them. <clears throat> 69 years later. How old are you, man? And that was how I came by it. I know it sounds crazy, but there you have it. The only proof I have... He's actually older than Edward. It's a strange one. I've seen one like it before. You have? Yes. Very rare, though. Very obscure. I've had experts take a look at it. And none of them know what it is. And you do. I'm somewhat of an expert on these things myself. An interest I developed a long time ago. We're gonna find out. That's his next chapter is his chapter. As if it's calling out to me. Then a drink, perhaps. Peter. For the gift. For an unusual objet d'art. That's an abrupt... I always expect him to say something else, like, what a toast. Like, he was writing this in the book, in the Tome of Eternal Darkness, and was like, oh, you know, th this is not important, just stop writing here. <laughs> Having stopped reading, Alex discovers a small penny taped to the back of Peter's chapter page. It's his lucky penny. My god, the textures look so good. So yeah, that we'll need that in her chapter. But for now, this is where we'll save. That was a good session. And yeah, these later... So the first half of the game, the first 60% of the game, one session. Like these later chapters, man, they can get so dragged out let's see again it's been a while so I don't even know if someone's streaming at this time but we'll check here we go got it got it I said got it god damn it <laughs> Huh. Well, no one's streaming anything we can connect it to. I get Doc, Doc is streaming Assassin's Creed. Let's go with that. That's really weird. I didn't expect that. So let's do that. Let's raid Doc. Assassin's Creed. <laughs> kind of, you know, like different, <laughs> different time stories and all that kind of connects. I don't know. Thanks everyone for watching. Thanks for being here for four fucking hours almost. Mark, it was good to see you here, man. Everyone have a wonderful evening, morning, or day, whatever you have. And I'll see you next time. Say hi to the dog for me. Keep an eye on the schedule. We should be seeing 
each other more now. Bye. Bye.